good down or not. Ten for sure, I don't... Oh, God, that's death. Uh, okay, well, I gotta start over. Try again. I forgot about that fish. I was too busy not paying attention. I think, uh, 10, I came, Mega Man 10, I came really close to doing it. Or that might have been without getting hit or something. I think that there, were, there was some kind of achievement in the game for beating Mega Man 10 without getting hit. And I, I came very close to it. I think I got to, like, the the Wily Castle or something. And I ended up uh, getting hit, like, I, I, during one of the boss fights. Oh, no, no, don't worry about it, man. It's fine. It, 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 if, if I can't have a conversation, it's... I have more issues going on. It's fine. No, no, it's fine. I, it, I can get... It was because I, I, I'm not paying attention. It's And it has nothing to do with you. Trust me. If you've seen my, any of my other attempts at this game, there's plenty of spots for me to die in, in complete silence. It's only your fault if you programmed that fish to hit me. I don't think you did that, so I think we're okay. But if you did, it's definitely your fault. It was your fault. It's cold blooded. So did you ever beat 9 or did you get stuck? I'm just curious. I still want to play the new South Park game. Speaking of that, with Professor Chaos. I want to play that because I really liked the first one. It was funny. And I, I, hadn't, I haven't watched South Park in a long time, but I actually got a lot of the references, which was kind of cool for me anyway. Like, I, I thought since I'd been so far removed from the show, I was going to not have any idea what the jokes were. Well, all, I mean, all Mega Man games are trial and error. You just kind of... You just have to learn what you can and can't do in certain areas. Just like that, when I died, I mean, I, I knew I shouldn't have been going crazy and just running into, running into the stuff, but it happens.
Yeah, I only played Mega Man 3, I think, as a kid. And then... I could discover 2, and then... 1 I for sure never played. Like, um, and I don't think... I don't know if I would have liked the series after playing 1, because that game is so difficult. Yeah, I feel you. Like I, I, uh, I remember. I mean, it, it it took me a while to kind of get to where I am with games, where I, I can like really just relax and like not let. It, I mean, things get to me. Trust me. Like if I'm playing like Street Fighter and I get I get killed by some some wake up uppercut nonsense or whatever. Like it, it gets to me. Like it'll bug me. But um, stuff like this, I I'm I've gotten pretty good over the years of just kind of being able to kind of just power through games, I guess. Like, just mentally, just don't let it get to you, you know? Because, like, the way I look at it, it's like, theoretically... If you can get past the level, uh, I did get the arcade update for for Street Fighter Five. Um, I don't understand what the problem is though, because it seems to be laggy offline, and I don't get it. Like it's the fr there's like frame rate issues and stuff when I'm playing offline. Like when I'm just doing the trials and stuff, like things there's, there seems to be like, input drops and just weird stuff. I don't. It's hard to explain. It's just I, I don't know what they're what's going on with it right now. Well, it's like, so the game is supposed to be laggy. Like it has a certain amount of like it has like a uh, it has like a, a window. I think is, is it ten frames or something for for lag. Like it, that's in the game, which is annoying, but it's fine. Like it's in the game. You know, you, you just have to kind of deal with it. But um, it seems like there's it seems like there's more. Yeah, uh, the only reason I, I was playing online and actually it doesn't feel as bad as it does offline, which is very strange. Um, I mean, th there's still bad connections because people don't want to buy good internet, which is fine. I mean, I know certain areas sometimes you just don't have access to high-speed internet, which is unfortunate, but I get it. Like, uh... Well, it's just, I mean, so it's just certain areas of the country, they just don't have, they don't have access to it. It's just, I mean, it's, un it's just unfortunate. Hey, we did it. We made it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, it's a little why I have like that uh, spectrum charger spectrum stuff or whatever, which is pretty good. But uh, I, I think that stuff's more dependent on like on both people. I think if one per, I mean, one person can't handle, you know, the data coming in. I, I think that's where the problem is. Oh, what's up, Angel? What's going on, man? Oh, trust me, uh, I, I should probably highlight it, because, like, right before I, I completely blew my last run, I came, like, literally within a pixel of, like, hitting, hitting I think, three things in a row, like, on in jumps, that, like, I barely missed. It was, if I hit, I would have I died immediately. So it looks like we're... One, two, three... Okay. We're almost halfway through with the, the boss fight, or the robot masters, and then that's when the fun happens. I think it's win, man. I, I, here's, I always forget the order. Because I, 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 I can beat most of the bosses just using the Mega Buster, so I've never really learned like the, any proper order of these games. And I, I started developing a new mashing, um, a jump mashing strategy, where I, I'll jump and then I, I I hit the the attack button with my left uh, my left hand, <laughs> and it actually seems to work pretty well. So when I'm jumping and attacking, it's um, it's usually my my left my left hand is doing the the button pressing, the high level strats. I right, so here's where we're gonna see the the first use of the new the new rush adapter. Whoop! It's a little rocket pack, which is pretty neat. And I gotta remember to not uh, slide everywhere because uh, I think in this game there's a couple, couple areas where if you slide, you'll end up uh, sliding like into a pit. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, especially with uh, YouTube's new like policies or whatever with uh, monetization. I mean, I, I, obviously, I don't do this for the money, but the tiny bit of money that I do make. Which I still haven't even made yet because you need a certain amount to actually be able to pull out <laughs> of the AdSense. Um, yeah, it, it was it's definitely helpful. Appreciate it, man. I really do. And, I, and, I, and I'm, I'm close to the their threshold. I think I need like around sixty more, sixty more, which is with it before like February twentieth or something is when the new stuff takes into effect. But. Anyway, that's, that's above my pay grade. I'm just trying to hopefully entertain everybody. Haha. Alright, we're halfway. And then there's two more areas of the... Of the Wily castle, like the Wily levels. Or Mr. X, I think, and then Wily that can mess me up.
So, even though we get out of these, we're not out of the woods. So, I don't know what's next. So this one? Sure. And the game's been pretty stingy on uh, E tanks. The last time I was playing through, I got I had like eight or nine of them. I had a lot by this point. Ah, uh, I should remember. I guess and here's where you get the yeah this little factory thing. Oh well, yeah, you look at a game. No, I, I I get it, man. Like you you look at a game like Kung Fu. That game literally takes five, like le just under, just around five minutes to complete. And when it came out, that game was sixty dollars. Like, that's incredible. <laughs> um, at the same time, though, you would... I mean, I doubt anyone who would buy this game would be able to beat the game in, you know, half an hour or whatever. Like, it, it would take a little while for someone to kind of learn everything first. So you would definitely... Even if you're, like, a, an expert Mega Man player or whatever, you would learn... I mean, it, it would take you, like, a day to learn the game and beat it. Just avoidance. Yeah, that was a, I mean, $60 is still a lot to me, honestly. <laughs> Let alone, you know, 30 years ago. I mean, that was a, that was a lot of money to be spending on Kung Fu. But then you also had games like Super Mario 3 that were the same price. So, I mean, like the the disparity in like the in the game quality is still there today, honestly. If you look at it like some games there's 60 end up dropping down to you know, like within the first week, usually new games go on sale for 40 and then they go back up to 60 for a little while and then they go down to 30 and they stay there. That was kind of close, but we're 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 doing okay. I do like in in this game that they actually showed you what the what the uh, what the weapons do. This one time you just had to guess. <laughs> yeah, I, I never had Kung Fu as a kid. Um, I played a lot of like Super Mario Brothers. My uh, my my mom really liked uh, Fester's Quest. That was her game she played all the time. She actually bought the Turbo Pad for that game specifically, like the um, the NES Max. I think that was what it was called. She she bought that because of Fester's Quest.
Uh, yeah, uh, I have a No Death Ninja Gaiden run on my channel. It, it, I, actually, I have two. I did it twice. So I did it once with all the cutscenes completely intact, and then I did it again uh, skipping through the cutscenes. And uh, so, and you, you can tell by the points and stuff that they're that they're they're two different runs. I, I didn't have the advantage. The advantage was the joystick, right? I, I didn't have that as a kid. I had the I had the the Max with like the weird circle pad thing as a D pad. Yeah, well, because with uh, for Ninja Gaiden, there was a contest. Oh, I think I need the jet. Yeah. Um... There was uh, there was a contest on Nintendo Age, it was like a high score contest. So I that was actually the first time that I had tried to like beat the game or whatever was during that contest, and um, I ended up learning the game. Really, like, I got really good at the game, and then I ended up submitting a run where I had a picture of my ending screen because what ends up happening is when you beat the boss. Your uh, your score goes away. And you never see it afterwards. So um, I took a, a picture of the screen right before I, I hit the boss for the last time to get my score. And then there was a big issue of the fact that I had no proof that I played the game or something. It was something weird. And I said, "Well, I didn't. I didn't know I had to record my runs for this thing because up until then you didn't. It was all on the honor system." So I so so they they got all upset at me saying that I cheated or something. So I ended up recording two runs, both as like my like a high score and then a higher score, but um, they refused to accept my runs because they said that I was cheating. So I don't go on Nintendo Edge anymore. I think whoever, I, I forgot who was running that. It was like a weekly contest thing or something. So whoever was running it was. I don't know what their problem was, but like after dealing with that, like it was just a mess. So I don't go on that website anymore. I was on it for a little bit because like, afterwards, be only because there is there's a Color Dreams thread where there's people that like playing Color Dreams games were like on it, you know. And as much as people don't like them, I actually kind of like the Color Dreams games. So I was on that thread for a while. But then that, that thread died. No one's not there anymore. Or no one's, uh... Oh, this is gonna be tough. Ooh. Yeah, it was weird, because, like, I mean, I, all my... And, and, like, so all of my scores were submitted using, like, real cartridges and stuff, and they were letting people with emulators, like, win contests and get high scores. So I, I it, it just seemed like they had like who like kind of who they wanted to win, I guess if that makes sense. Like they had like certain people that they wanted to do well, and they were accepting all their stuff. And then, cause at that time I was only on the site for maybe like a couple months, cause I was trying to finish up collecting my Nintendo set, so I was trying to get a hold of people you know for that. And then, so I, I think it might have been something where like I'm I'm a new guy and, I mean I, I also kind of popped off on him a little bit. I kind of yelled at him. You know, as much as you can online, I guess. I was just like, like, you know, do you think I'm cheating? Like, I'm, you know, I just happen to get really good at the game, or whatever. So I don't know. But it happens. Sometimes people just need to have that weird power over someone, which is fine. Not my business. So that's why I don't go there anymore. Yeah, it was. Just, yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe not. That's what it felt like to me, because it felt like all of my stuff was always scrutinized. Like I had to prove everything that I was doing, and I did. I had no problem with it because I was actually doing everything right. But when you see, like, you know, when, there, when I have a picture of like a CRT TV with with my, uh, you know, my Ninja Gaiden cart with a picture, and it's like, oh well. How do I know that's legit? It's like, well, there's a picture, there's a cart there. Like, what do you want me to do? Like, I'm... Like, 
as much as I, I don't know if you know, they think about it, but, like, I, I have too much... I don't have all, like, that much time to, like, Photoshop something like that. I'm, I'm just I'd rather just do it and get it over with. So... Uh, yeah, um, I, I gotta get my three. I gotta, I gotta see if it's still on my 360. I actually, I just like uh, last night. I actually uh, recovered like a hard drive, like a, like an old hard drive from a, a messed up console, and I put it into a new one. So if it's still on there and it's still functional, I, I can throw this. I can throw the 60, uh, the 360 on this thing, and I can play for a little bit. That's going to be a complete train wreck if you're interested in that, though, because I haven't played that since it came out, and that was in, like, 2000... What would that be, like, 13 or 14, I think? No, it had to have been longer than that. It was, like, 2011. Maybe. I, I don't know. Someone can actually look up when it came out. It was, it was a long time. It feels like a long time ago, close to 10 years. Because, you know, I, I want to say, uh, I don't know if it was, but I want to say that game might have been part of, like, that... I don't know if, I don't even know if Xbox is still doing it, but the they had, like, a S Xbox Live Summer Arcade Games of Summer or something. I want to say that that might have been one of the first games. That, that was, like, 2010, 2011. Oh, wow. 2008. I was way off. Well, I, well, it was ten years ago. Hmm. I, I thought it was after... Huh, I guess not. Wikipedia doesn't lie. Yeah, jump! Yeah, same. I, I remember when that came out. I remember when that abomination of Turtles in Time came out. You remember that? That thing was awful. <laughs> hey, you tank. Yeah, I remember when the the new Turtles in Time came out, and I was all all hype on it because. I really liked the original, and then, I don't know what they did to it, they made it so bad. <laughs> and you know what, they knew they messed it up too, because they, um... Oh, you know, I'm just gonna fly over all this stuff. Oh, because uh, th they made the game too cluttered, because what ended up happening, and the colors were all awful, but 
uh, what they ended up doing was that they gave you like a little marker that put showed you where you were. And in my opinion, that, that shows that they put way too many enemies in the game because they had to decipher, or they they had they had to give you a marker to tell you where you were in the mess of foot soldiers. You never had to do that in the original Turtles of Time. And if if they didn't think that having a cluttered screen was a problem, they wouldn't have put that little arrow there. But they didn't make the characters. Um, I don't know, like, decipherable enough? So th they felt like they needed to add a marker to put in, in crowds. Oh, that game was great! The 2010 or 11 Re uh, reboot was not. Oh crap, I'm gonna die again. Ooh. I didn't have a Neo Geo. I had I had a Genesis. And I had ooh. Keep on moving. Was the Neo Geo that thing that was super expensive, or was that some? Was that some? Am I thinking of something else? Like it was like obnoxiously expensive. But only like almost like only real rich people actually had it. Three, okay, so the thing I'm thinking about is the 3DO. The Panasonic thing. That's what I'm thinking about. That one was like $500 or some nonsense when it came out. The, the, the Neo Geo might have been expensive too, but the one I'm thinking about for sure is the... Is the, um... The 3DO. Okay, okay, yeah, so, uh, I, okay, so I am for sure thinking of the 3DO, but, yeah, that was, uh... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, cool. Yeah, I um, okay. I went from the Genesis to the N sixty four. And then I, I pretty much stayed with Nintendo after that. Like, I did, uh... Did, did, did the GameCube. I remember, yeah, we used to... We used to get old Nintendo games from, uh... Like, KB Toys. That used to be a store. I don't know if that's still around anymore. The KB toys where a kid can be a kid, or is that the Toys R Us? No, I didn't have an SNES. I had a Genesis, and my neighbor had the SNES. Because I remember we got together, uh, we we conspired that year for Christmas, and we we decided that. Okay, that was Toys R Us. My bad. Um, yeah, we, we got together for Christmas, we decided that one of us would ask for the Genesis and the other would ask for the Super Nintendo, so we'd have both to play. Let me go this way. Oh, that for, for that. Yeah, so uh, so I ended up playing like I still played like Mario or Super Mario Kart and I played a lot of uh, a lot of Donkey Kong Country 1. I played that a lot. That was super cool. I remember I remember we got the 101% or 102 or whatever it was like in the game. We were we were all excited when we did that. Yeah, Donkey Kong Country was amazing. Okay, I need some... Oof, that was closer than I wanted it to. I, th I thought I almost had to, like... I, I thought I would have had to have had to have gone backwards and like restarted, like respawned everything, but got lucky. Hey, what's up, Zero Bomber Man? How are you? Uh, just trying to. Redeem myself and get the Mega Man 6 no death going. I'm near the end, uh, I'm close to the end, I think, if I remember right. Uh, I got a handful of bosses left and stuff, but uh, I'm doing okay so far.
That was uh, yeah, Angel. I got a little lucky there. Uh, I thought I was going to get hit by the fire for sure, but I didn't. <clears throat> next Mega Buster. Yeah, it was funny. I was cleaning out my uh, my old room at my dad's, and uh, I found a just a bunch of old. You, know, I mean, you, you just find a bunch of stuff you forget about or whatever. But uh, there we go. Fill you up. Yeah, I try and do. Um, the last time I ended, I don't, know, I, I don't. I don't remember if you if you were here the whole time or not. But I ended up choking really badly, literally on the last jump of the game. It was uh, heartbreaking, to say the least. But, uh, but anyway, so I was, I was going through some of my, my old stuff, and I found a bunch of old notes from old Nintendo games. <laughs> uh, just in, like in a drawer. Uh, I'm thinking about, I, I might start taking pictures of them and, and put them up on Instagram or something, because there's they're some pretty funny ones. Like, I have the whole, uh... Oh, this part's going to be rough. I'm just gonna do this. They're way safer than the other way. Yeah, so I I, I have a full uh, a full map of Bart versus the Space Mutants, like the last level, the nuclear the nuclear power plant. And like and and it actually has the order. For me to actually do everything like, if, if at the time it felt optimally, so it, it could, I mean, it could be really good. And I found what I, I'm pretty sure is my my painstakingly discovering a map of Secret Scout, an old Color Dreams game. That game is a complete dumpster fire. That game is not very good. Yeah, I like Space Mutants only because I, um, that was one of the very few games I actually owned as a kid. I used to rent games a lot, but I never really owned a whole lot. So that was a game that I actually owned. So I actually, like, I, I got really good at it just because I owned it. Like, I had nothing else to do, I guess. Fly over everybody, get hit. Oh, that was hairier than I wanted it to be. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and Oh I got not yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stock up here. The, I, I got hit well, I, I was I was trying to play safer than normal. So I ended up getting hit a lot more. Okay, so this guy isn't too bad. Um, there's like there's a god spot right here in the corner. Did that say failed was spelled wrong? I, I don't know. But uh, yeah, Space Mutants was fun, man. I, I actually I got pretty good at that game too. That game's on my channel as well. <laughs> uh, that and uh, Bart vs. the World, they're both on there. <clears throat> Alright, we're almost there.
Hey, we did it. I don't think I've, don't think I've ever been up here before. <laughs> I've always tried, but I never actually made it. Let's see what's over here. Okay. Hey, e tank. And I missed it. Okay. We're going to go ahead and go and get it. And uh, apparently we're not going to go get it. Okay. False. <laughs> False alarm. Oh, really? That's weird. Hmm. You know, I think the, the spear thing is like super good against him. Seem to hit him. This is a terrible dragon fight. I'm, I don't think I've done this bad since I first like actually fought him. You know, I'm going to do some... I'm going to kill him a, a cool way. Ugh, get out of here. And throw the platform at him. Actually, you know, I think I, I might have bypassed like the really hard part of the run with that newly just like that newly acquired area. Oh no, snow. Not a fan. Ooh. I think I can go this way too, right? If I use the fire. Oh, you're completely right. <laughs> I, I could have just flown up there. I was trying to be cool and use the, the box. <laughs> I didn't even think about it, to be honest with you. It wasn't like I was trying to be make it more difficult. This just happens to be what I do all the time. Yeah, you're completely right. I, I could have just flown up there.
<laughs> yeah, those disappearing block sections are always pretty stressful. Um, I think I'm actually I might be done with them though at this point because I, I could because I took that alternate route. I think I'm done with the uh, disappearing blocks. We're looking good. Okay, this, so this is the level I died in. So we're gonna go ahead and not do that this time. That's the plan. Just jump and hold right. Oh god. Got a whoop. I'm gonna try to just fly over this this guy. Yep, just up and over. Let's go. We're done. See ya. Yeah. Oh my God, that was okay. So so you were in here. <laughs> that was the saddest moment in my gaming career. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, so now we're at boss. We're we're good to go. This thing, this game's all but finished, which is awesome. I don't think I have any more. Right, now you should be in a decent, like, uh. There you go. We're good. Yeah. The, I, <laughs> do you remember, like, how, uh, how defeated I ended up? Sounding after <laughs> after I died there. That was yeah. That was super depressing. Oh, I only got one shot. Oh, and I missed it. Amazing. <laughs> Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it was, it was the most easiest solution. You just jump and go right, and I didn't do any of that. I panicked, and then I tried to change into the the rocket guy <laughs> to to help fix it, and that didn't work. I don't know this guy. I think this guy's weakness is like the plant thing or something, but I'm not gonna use that. Yeah, 
Even if I completely screw the pooch on this one, I have tons of E-Tanks. <clears throat> Let's go. Whoop. So I think Mega Bust is first because it's like that big thing that's on the... the Floats like left and right and tries to stomp on you. I think we're doing okay. Yep, another extra life, because I need it. There it is. I, I gotta deal with this thing twice. Whoa! this just to have safety and we're done BAM got him <sighs> got it that's right Sentenced to prison for his crimes. I still think that he didn't do anything wrong. He just gave the robots free will. When Dr. Light was going to kill him and stuff. I think he was going to kill him or whatever. When they... <clears throat> no, I don't think I died. I'm pretty sure I was good. I, uh, I used the E-Tank. But I didn't die. I gotta check the table. I'm pretty sure I didn't die. I would have been very disappointed. I'm pretty sure I did it. I did it. I did it, I did it right. Yeah, no, no. I just like, because uh, Doctor Light, you know, he had these robots, and he was gonna. I think he was gonna junk them, and then Doctor Wiley came in and said, "Hey." We're going to give you free will and stuff, and there you go. So all Dr. Wily did was give the robots 
fair and equal treatment. Give them rights. I'm on Team Wily. Now these robots, according to the story, I think were made for like a, a some type of fighting tournament or something. These couldn't benefit humanity in any way. The first few games, I think they all had, all the robots were like built to benefit humanity, and then they, you know, Wiley gave them free will, and then they decided to not work anymore for free because they're not slaves. So, but I think five and six were like just like. I don't know, random stuff like Dust Man. Like, I'm not sure what he would do. He's like, like a giant vacuum. Skull Man was just a guy with a skull, which is weird. That was awesome. That was super fun. So now I have all, all six of the classic games are done. I did four and five uh, a couple weeks ago, six today, and I did one, two, and three like a long time ago. So those are going to go up on my... Uh, I'm going to create a playlist, hopefully, like a little thing and have all six of them there. Paul Sentiments Backart. Weird names. Alright, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's gonna take a second. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna let the credits roll for for the you know, for the video or whatever, and then uh, once the credits are done, and then I'll the stream might cut for like a second because I have to switch consoles, so I got to like put the you know, HDMI or whatever into the Xbox. So it, it might cut, it might not. I don't know, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll throw in Mega Man Nine. But I, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. I'm gonna get uh, something to drink and probably use the restroom, and then we'll uh, I'll come back in a, in a moment. <laughs> 